Gaming. I'm your host Joseph Moore here and I am currently live streaming on Facebook but you will see this on YouTube so please leave a like subscribe and if you have not followed me on Facebook go ahead and do that for me um, this is my first video after a bunch of bulk recordings that I did uh, in the past that's why we have I, th I believe episode 6 up uh, as a Friday and now I'm going ahead and pre-recording for y'all on YouTube some more videos. And uh, everyone here on Facebook is joining me live. Uh, David, of course. If you never played this game, um, trust me, you're going to love it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and advance to the next month here, at least. Um, give me one second. I need to find my little journal that I was keeping that shows... Uh, which Pokemon are 100% with which, uh, have 100% link with which, uh, warrior, but, uh, I need to find it real quick, so one second, I should have thought of this earlier. Alright, so I did find the book. Now I just got to get to where the names were. Where's my names? Oh, a horrible start to a video. There we go. And do I have a pin with me? All right, there we go. It's close enough. So, I do have my uh, little book here to show which Pokemon linked with what warrior. And as of right now, we're doing pretty freaking good. We do have some Pokemon ready to go. And, well, not Pokemon. But we have uh, the warriors in the castle. Some of the castles they're supposed to be in. We're just waiting for those Pokemon to pop up. And... Let's go ahead and see if we can't get that started here. And of course, between videos, I will still be doing uh, the linking, just in case, you know, those Pokemon just don't happen to pop up. Alright, let's see. Do we need anyone with a little again or a Sawaddle? Alright, yeah, we don't have anyone who needs those. So, okay, we're going to go ahead and check this one out. Alright, does someone need a Tepig or a Zubat? Could have sworn I knew someone needed a Zubat. No, so far no. Alright, we'll go ahead and move on to the next castle. A bunch of these guys have already linked up with their perfect... Uh, perfect Pokemon so like here's an example Yoshihiro is linked up with the girder and you can see the hundred percent right there he has 30 out of a hundred percent but as long as they have hundred percent that means they have a perfect link and uh, they can get the most potential out of that Pokemon as you can see there's some warriors who have a 54 percent that means uh, the highest they can get is 54 percent I've actually maxed out uh, a long time ago when I first played the original series with my my active trainer and a Charizard and it was only 70% so that means I could have gotten you know really close to 100% with uh, Eevee or Glaceon or something like that like I did uh, on the what you call it <sighs> can't think of it right now okay but it's okay but basically that's what it is. You want to try to get your warriors linked up with the Pokemon that have 100% potential. Or 90. Because there's some that can't do 100. But we're going to go ahead and take over something. But let's go ahead. Sorry. I got sidetracked here. Uh, does anyone need a spiel? 
or a whooper. No, I do need someone with a pan pour though, but they don't have pan pour available yet, so that's kind of sucky for us. Let's go ahead and check out this one here. All right, does anyone need a chinchino? I know quite a few need Bidoofs, and it's like, Bidoof sucks. Why would you want to be paired up with a Bidoof? But, you know, I guess everyone has their favorite Pokemon. If you like Bidoof, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I do not like Bidoof, so. Just like, yeah, you're wasting time there. Alright, does anyone here need a Machop or a Timber? Ooh! Takahisha. And he should be here already. Oh, and it looks like the Rams are beating the Seattle Seahawks. So that's always good to see. Okay. Takahisa. Yeah, that's not him. Okay, let's see if Taratsuni. Yeah, this, this takes a lot of timing. I should do this basically off screen, I guess. But you never know. You want, you really want to catch these when you can, because there's no guarantee these Pokemon are coming back. So I'm gonna go ahead and figure out where Takahisha is. Probably one of these guys over here. Yeah, Takahisha. He needs a timber, so we're gonna march him over. So basically, what this game is, for people who don't know, it's, uh, well, and if you haven't been watching my past videos, it is basically Pokemon Chess, and it's, it's really stimulating to the mind. I love it, especially now that I'm doing this 100% challenge, to where I'm trying to get all my warriors with 100% mons, and there's just so many warriors too, it's hard to unlock them all. But, I mean, you can. So, we're going to go ahead and send these fellas in. Because we're not going to use them for the next fight. So, we might as well have them battle here. Excuse me. Alright, now I'm back and ready to fight. So we got to get the Machop next to the Timber so we can link up with it. And of course, uh, first turn I always like to sit back and relax. Have them come to us. Makes it a little bit easier. Especially uh, if they could fall into the traps without us falling into the traps. Because these sick bastards like the booby trap. Alright, so we get the low kick off on the Machap. Machop, since we're not trying to link up with that one. And now we're going to try to link up here. So it's just like a little link mini game. Is what you do. And then once uh, they cross paths, technically. Like you saw how they start. One's at the top right, one's at the bottom left. Once they're like right on top of each other, Pinky. Um, that's whenever you can start linking. That's when they get the perfect link, and that's your partner Pokemon now. Instead of using traditional Pokeball tactics to catch Pokemon. All right, so now we're gonna come over here and try to beat up this Machop because we're trying to get rid of it. We don't need it, and it's also good EXP. So basically, the link is EXP. So that's what you want. There we go. And now, here we go. You and I, Timber, we're partners now. So now we got his perfect link, so we can mark that off the list. Oh, man. Oh, I have my good pin right here. What am I doing? Spent all that time looking for another pin. My good pin's right here. All right, Takahisha has successfully linked. 
And now we can go ahead and beat up on this timber. And one more turn and we'll knock it out. So basically that's the goal of the game. You want to use your Pokemon to defeat all their Pokemon before they defeat yours. And there's some where you actually want to... Uh, what do you call it? There's some capture the flag ones, of course, if you've been watching the series. Uh, the last video I did was like that. It was capture the flag. And some you have to hold for so many turns. Some it's... Uh, you gotta hold first. You gotta get all of them first. You know, things of that nature. And your Pokemon can actually camp inside the on the flag, so your enemy can't get it. It had to kill your Pokemon first. But yeah, it's it's simple things like that. So we're gonna go ahead and come over here. Uh, do we have anyone here that needs the link? I didn't even think to look. To Marie. Uh, none that needs Mareep and uh, funny thing about this place is you can actually choose the charging Kesla and it'll attract more Pokemon to come here so that's always good to note but we're gonna go ahead and battle this kingdom so we can finally accomplish what we set out to do I did waste a lot of time on this so far but here we go Select warriors are taking the battle against Chrysalia. Alright, so obviously we're taking these two and our flying type. And then we're going to call in reinforcements. Uh, the only way you can do this is if uh, both castles can attack the same castle. So, there's that. And let's go ahead and bring a fire type. Let's bring a fighting type since we see that. And let's go ahead and bring an electric type since... Oh wait, why don't we bring the stronger electric type? There we go. Are you ready to begin battle against Chrysalia? Yes, I am. Let's go ahead and kick some bug ass. Let us stick our reputation on victory. Okay, sounds good to me. Joe's army has appeared in Yoshimoto's, Yoshimoto's kingdom of Chrysalia. Sorry if you hear the little dings in the background. That's Facebook. The kingdom of Chrysalia. Oh, Kamari, it's just such a glorious fun. Lord Yoshimoto, someone has come to challenge you to battle. And little Pineco just gets more adorable every day. Oh. Lord Yoshimoto. Oh! Your opponent is in battle is to be Joe. Joe? Is that the one who's been expanding his territory in the north? Or the other one? Oh, it doesn't matter. As long as they want to play Pokemon with me, I don't care who they are. Lord Yoshimoto. Come, Joe, to the battlefield where we shall play Pokemon to a heart's content. Well, yeah, you better hope you win this game of uh, uh, whatever, Pokemari, because uh, if you don't, I'm taking your fucking castle. All right, <clears throat> so our Pokemon are being displayed first as chess pieces, of course. So we start on one side of the field, and they start on the other side you do not get to choose the formation it just you know kind of happens i guess you can but you gotta know how it displays already and then uh you... no i guess you can't really never mind this battlefield has been designed so that we might enjoy pokemon as we fight come come let us begin whether further ado oh without further ado can't read all right so each turn, they're going to be releasing these Pokemari balls. And if you hit them, they'll bounce all the way across the field and you can do damage. So we're going to try to avoid all that as possible. Alright, come this way. 
She told me to walk this way. Talk this way. Come give me a kiss. All right, we're gonna go ahead and sit here. And you do not have to play this game any specific way. You pretty much play to your heart's content on how you want to attack the enemy. I like to play a little more defensive at first and then uh, group attack Pokemon that are pretty much solo. But again, that's just my play style. Uh, if you like all out offensive, I mean, that's cool. Excuse me. But, eh, most of the time it's not recommended. Alright, so we got the pairing we want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the Brotherhood thing so we can raise our defenses. It, each warrior has abilities, and that happens to be this one's ability. It raises everyone's defense around him and itself. So, like this one has raises defenses as well, but only for himself. So I'm going to come over here and hit this thing. And I'm going to actually hit the, the ball, because it does pretty good damage. And it's not like I was going to be able to attack it anyway. Then I'm going to come around here. Ooh, I can take it out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I just can't get over how tenacious you are. Alright, well you're not going to get over the fact that we're going to steal your gym. Or castle, I should say. And we're going to go ahead and attack him with the electric type. Hopefully get the para. And we get it. Alright, sit this one here. Oh, wait, there's no Pokemon this way. So I'm going to go ahead and knock this ball out of the way. So hopefully Eevee can expand. Welcome to the stream. If you want to be uh, involved with the video, go ahead and make a comment so I can say your name on stream. Oh no, and we get stuck. So like I said, uh, every battlefield does have booby traps. You can trigger them just so, as I did here. So we do get unlucky, but we do get lucky there. He is fully paired. And Pineco does come off and connects with our flying type. Now Eevee takes the punishment. And while you're trapped in the little thing, you can get attacked, but you cannot attack yourself. So that puts us in a very sticky predicament right there. Ooh, all right. So we do get hit with the icy wind, but it's not too bad. Standing alongside Pokemon in battle and overcoming one's enemies. That's a warrior's greatest joy right there. Right, Rufflet? Let us go and fight. Oh, someone's all fired up. He's got a fire in his belly. I was watching Fairy Tale all yesterday, so that's where that came from. Trust me, I'm not crazy. Ooh, and Pineco is taking some damage, but not too crazy. Um, we're going to go ahead and bring Jigglypuff over here. Oh, we need to trigger another booby trap, which really sucks. But what we're going to do here is... We're going to go ahead and take out the Pineco just to get rid of another Pokemon. Spiel is kind of, again, he has a range attack, so he can hit two. So I'm going to get out of the way of that. And he's pretty much boxed in with the balls. So the only person he's actually going to really be able to hit right now is that big. So I'm not too worried about him getting hit by a, a ice type move. So that really works out in our favor. Alright, does he get parried again? And he does, so we do not have to risk the poison just yet. So Waddle, Waddle, Waddle misses. Ooh, that's tough. 
Oh, uh, actually, he could hit the Jigglypuff, and that's going to be uh, pretty good damage because the Poke Pokegiri Ball, Pokemari Ball, is going to hit too. Alright, so now we can finally move. And we don't want to stay on that button. No, not the button. Um, we're going to go ahead and move with this one. I didn't have to do that. But technically what that ability does is it increases my range. But I am going to get this ball out of the way. Alright, great. So basically you can pass through your... Uh, partner Pokemon but you can't pass through an enemy so what that means is like right here I can go past Eevee but if this was an enemy Pokemon I couldn't go here so I'm gonna go ahead and just come around this way I'm gonna come try to kill this thing oh definitely gonna kill this thing Down goes Sawaddle. Wow, you're quite a fighter, aren't you? Can't ho can't hope to compete. And the power band broke, so our, our attack is going to be a little less, but that's fine. We do take out Spill here, which is great. Oh no, it hungs on by one. So there is low rolls and high rolls in this game. And we just experienced a low roll right there. Wow, he's been paralyzed three turns in a row. Unlucky for him. Alright, so we do get freeze on Jigglypuff, but Jigglypuff can't really do much for us right now. What it can do is this. It has a really broken ability called Sweet Song. And it pretty much heals your Pokemon up basically to full. But I think there's like a max you can do. And of course we do get stuck there. Uh, I'm going to steal the kill here with Eevee. Because that means Eevee's going to get more EXP since he got a kill. And we do get to move again. So I'm going to go ahead and attack this ball here. And hopefully Eevee can get another kill. Ooh, almost. But he does get damage off, so that still counts. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get this thing here. Because we don't want to step on the button. Plus, we want the gold. And then we're going to go ahead and finally swiftly take out this Venipede here. And down it goes. You are truly magnificent. I had no idea any strong as... I had no idea any as strong as you existed. Yeah, here we go. Crystallia Castle is ours. Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about, baby. So as you can see, now we're getting our percentage boost. Everyone got pretty much the same, except the Pokemon that got the most kills, or the most damage. And now, since we beat them, we can uh, recruit certain trainers. You can't recruit them all, for some reason, right off the bat, but that's how it is. Lord Yoshimoto, you must understand. As a result of losing this battle, you are no longer the Wardlord of Chrysalia. Oh? Oh? Oh! <laughs> Joe's army has claimed victory. Select warriors you wish to recruit. Alright, so they're all 70 link, so that means they're pretty good with bug types. So I'm probably going to leave them here in this castle after I have to move people around. There you will. I'll lend you my strength, indeed. You have reached the maximum permitted warriors. Okay, so basically what it's saying is you can only have six warriors in a castle. So you got you to gotta make sure you separate them into the right spots. Congratulations, Lord Joe. You now have seven kingdoms under your control. Are you always displeased with yourselves? Ah! Surely you are aware of the crisis facing Ransa as we speak. Oh shit. Meanwhile, Nobunaga, who had been gathering his forces in the north of Rensai, has conquered eight kingdoms himself. Just two kingdoms remained. 
Terrera under Shin Shinjin's command and Alusio Kinshin's kingdom. Both were renowned. Oh. Both were renowned throughout Rensai as warlords of great strength. Indeed, even Nobunaga himself was said to fear them. Shit, they're strong. So if Nobunaga comes captures those two kingdoms, that would be terrible. No one would be able to stop them in the then. So, do I have to say what you're all thinking? I guess I do. Joe, you've got to get Shinjin and Kenshin on your side. There is no there is no other option. Oh, Luigi didn't like them stealing her thunder. The battle has been won. Save your progress. Yes, I will. All right, there we go. We have saved our progress, and we have 25 minutes on the video for now. Um, let's go ahead and see what else we can do here. Oh, that's right. There was nothing else we could do. Uh, let's see. So, as you can see, these are the two we can challenge. I do believe if you conquer one, they pretty much team up with you. So we'll just have to decide which one we want to go with. I normally go with Terrera because it's pretty easier. They, they pretty much separate a lot better. And uh, <clears throat> I feel like we have the forces to do that. But let's go ahead and march. Let's go ahead and march these guys over here. Just for now, just because uh, they will attack our castles. I don't know if they will necessarily, but <clears throat> so most of the time they do. Excuse me. Whew. You are now able to challenge the warlords of Terura and Elusia, which we will. So basically, they have two fire types. They have rock types, of course, ground types. So we do want some fighting types on our squad. We don't want fighting. I will take one flying, though. So basically, I'm going to have to do this. I have to send... This is my strongest team, so I'm going to send all these here. I'm going to keep two grass types. I'm going to keep the two strongest ones. Ooh. Okay, let's see what we can do here. You know what? I don't think I'm going to keep grass types after all. Why well, am I keep him? But I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these two and these two we'll see who's strongest because that's the fighting type I'm taking with me so as you can see we still do not match the strength and with our two normal types uh, we're gonna struggle with those two rock types so let's see how strong our water types are. Yeah, 165. So I'm going to go ahead and switch around. So this is how you switch Pokemon for a uh, person. So you just come over here, select that Pokemon, and that's the Pokemon he's with now. So he has his 100% link. He's good to go. So let's see, pretty much all these Pokemon have their 100% link. So hers, as you can see, is 98, but that's her best link until it evolves and then it'll be 100% link. Um, Hideaki needs a uh, Venipede, but all these other ones are 100%, so that's good. So only Hideaki needs a Pokemon. Let's see if it's available here. It is not. But I do know Poke someone needs a Joltik somewhere, right?
Hmm. Doesn't seem like it. Alright. Well, I mean, that's good for this episode. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. Again, guys, if you are watching here on YouTube, on Facebook, please uh, leave a like and follow. If you're watching after I record this on YouTube, please leave a like, subscribe, and come to my Facebook and follow. And that's pretty much it for me, guys. Uh, be ready for some Draft League battles coming to the channel. And yeah, just a bunch of Draft League battles because I, I am in a couple of Draft Leagues and that's what I'll be doing for a good amount of time. So uh, other than my streams, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.